I wanted to remind people of this very specific industry that was very affected by COVID-19. The act of storytelling is really important. I think it's a backbone of New York. So many interesting stories being told every night on Broadway, on off-Broadway, theaters everywhere. You know, you can walk into this little theater and you see something that's completely life-altering sometimes. I just wanted to remind people how vital that industry is and how just much it's hurting. My name is Tony DiBernardo. I am a scenic designer. I do theater. Uh, this is the, the mecca for, for, for what I do. I mainly assist a designer named Derek McLean. One of his most recent projects that I worked on was Moulin Rouge. I was in China from October through December. Literally, as soon as I got home, I made all these friends. I was there for multiple months. The virus really started picking up. And I remember one of them, literally, it was like, at the end of the email, they're like, be careful, the virus knows no bounds. And this is like February. But I, I really think about that email a lot. It's like, that was a really heavy warning. You know, when March came around, it was pretty scary. For better or for worse, what we do always ends up getting mixed in who we are as artists. And so it's, it definitely is scary when that gets taken away from you. It was absolutely an Instagram ad that I saw. The idea was sounded so awesome and interesting. And at that point, I just didn't have any work at all. It just was like, uh, like such an awesome opportunity to do something creative. Even if I didn't get it, it was my thought process was like, let me, let's just design this. Let's take this as seriously as a show that I would be designing. And then I just kind of research. And then I started thinking, okay, then what is like, what is just a signature motif where you know this is theater, right? And I was like, a stage, uh, duh. Once I started researching different theaters, instantly I kind of was attracted to the Presidium Arch. So I just started researching as many different proscenium arches as I could. Different ideas, different styles. I, I kind of liked the more like Art Deco. It's so iconic and New York, in my opinion. You just look at the buildings. Then I start with just rough sketches, thumbnail sketches, basically. And I just start doing larger, more thought out sketches. And then I eventually start to make a model. When I submitted the project, it wasn't like, this is my design. It was definitely a, uh, a point where it's like, I would talk to a director. This is the idea. This is what I want. Now let's discuss this. 